Hello. Okay, you got me. Stone guardians that are down bad. I'm thinking of ending things is his best work, though. Probably one of the worst opinions I've ever heard. The only thing I like about I'm thinking of ending things is I saw a Joanna Newsom meme today that said, I am thinking of mending things. And I was like, that's funny. How do, how do you get down to the floor, man? You just fall? You're crazy. What the... It's the, it's the giant rat that makes all the rules, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm no, you know what? I'm not gonna die. Cause check this out. Oh! <laughs> he squeezes betwixt the columns. Columns betwixt. Oh, you just take the lower side of the elevator. Duh. And I knew that. I was testing to see if you knew that. Just, I'm not surprised, by the way. You just give off, like, an Evil Dead 2 energy. It's a, it's a very positive and complimentary thing. I, I, I do not like, um... I need to move it once. I, I do not like, uh... Synecdoche, New York. Or Synecdoche, whatever you want to... However you want to pronounce it. Um... We need to go down one, which is in this direction. I, I, I loved Adaptation, so I was very excited for Eternal Sunshine. Then when Eternal Sunshine came out, I loved Eternal Sunshine. Then when Synecdoche came out, I was so uh, excited for it. I saw it in our local indie theater, and when it was over, I was like, that was probably like the most exhausting 14 hours of my cinematic life. I I found it overly indulgent and uh, uh, too, far too precious for its own good. Um, a lot of these guys, huh? This is a horrible area. But this is it! Lord Vessel! Lord Vessel! Oh my god, how sick would that have been, though? No, no, don't curse me! Kill me, don't curse me. I just, just kill me, but I can't die to... I can't die near the Basilisk, because if I die near the Basilisk, I'm gonna lose all half of my HP forever, man. Okay, he's, he's going for it. Just kill me. Kill me right here. You didn't do it fast enough! I know you're like, get the item, but as soon as I stop to get the item, this MF is gonna freaking bite me, and then the Basilisk is gonna vape on my corpse, and I'm gonna lose half my HP forever. So you gotta give me a second here, okay? Stop biting me. Lord Vessel. Royal Helm. No. No, 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 just go, just go. Yeah, they, you, you can get cursed after you die. If you do drugs, you'll go to hell before you die. Captain Lou Albano. Always remember that. Okay. Okay, we're safe. Whoa! <laughs> hey, now, Hank Kingsley. Get me out of here. We made it. Now you're all gonna pay. Levy's unlocked. Now you're all gonna pay. Except for you guys. You guys are like mega annoying. Get me out of here. That's not a Viking helmet. They didn't actually have horns. Uh, cute idea. Except, this, these are not licorice. Uh, real licorice looks and tastes just like the licorice plant. These are what is commonly known as red vines, and they tend to be strawberry flavored.
Thank you. I, th I thought it was a good tweet as well. Have you seen any of Yorgos Lanthimos' films? Y yes, I, I really like The Lobster. I think it's a, I think it's a great movie. I, I also like The Favorite. I think it's a very good movie. Um, I haven't seen The Killing of a Sacred Deer, but it looks up my alley. But, like, I can't watch movies, man. Like, um, especially because we had our, our child so recently. Like, I'm just... And I'm being 100% sincere. I'm just too emotional to watch movies. Like, I watched the trailer for Minari and just had tears, like, rolling down my face. I can't, I can't watch it. It's too real. Everything's too real right now and too raw. <laughs> my souls. Oh, geez, Louise. Yeah, man, it like it changes you for sure. People will be like, I haven't cried in 10 years. Yeah, because you're on 4chan like eight hours a day watching people's heads get blown off and stuff like that. You're freaking desensitized. You forgot what it means to be like a human being. Once you like reintegrate to the real world, the emotions start coming back. Minari is good, but it's no I'm thinking of ending things. I mean, I gotta see it. Steven Yeun, he's been in some amazing stuff. Best thing he's ever been in. Uh, I think you should leave episode uh, one, season one. Second best thing he's ever been in. Burning is not really my favorite movie of all time, but I respect what it was going for. Third best thing he's ever been in, the Conan remote where they go to the Jim Jilbang. Um, fourth best thing he's ever been in, I don't know. Like, I, um, I haven't seen Minari. So that's probably, it's probably that. Yeah, you know what? I gotta see Sorry to Bother You as well. Oh, you know what? He's... Yeah, Okja! People are sleeping on Okja, man. That's a good movie. But I can't watch it because I'll freaking cry. Especially because I eat meat as well. Okja was a great movie. Why don't they just... And this is an honest question. Why don't they make every movie star Steven Yeun, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Kate Blanchett? It's so easy. If you just got those three actors for every movie, your movies would never be bad. They would always be good. Yeah, that's why I support uh, deep fake technology. So that one day this, this goal can become real. And Tony Collette. Yeah, I'm still maybe they'll give Tony Collette the Oscar this year for hereditary. I hate you. Yes! Yes! Way to go, dummy! Yeah, you're not so smart now, are you? He's in. We just needed one chance, man. Just one chance. Is Solaire here? He do be here. How'd you get past him, Solaire? This is like... You're a king. I love that that enemy wasn't randomized. If they did that with the randomizer and they kept the archer there just for fun, that's hilarious. It's, all, it's more hilarious if it randomed the exact enemy, but still. Yeah, this bonfire, this is the ultimate PvP bonfire. Talk to weirdo. What if you got to heaven, but God said does not open from this side? Oh, this this is a good roll. Um, excuse me. Have you seen my Lord Vessel? Have you seen my Lord Vessel? Yo, isn't that the depths? No, I think the depths key is called the depths key, but... What the? No, 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 no. Dude, I'm so... These freaking basilisks, man. This is the most basilisk I've ever seen. And there's a mimic and like 17 other enemies down here. Is 
It's just the mimic? Oh, even better. Yeah, every time I die to the boss, I gotta... Ooh, Chandler Bong! Every time I die to the... Mimic, or every time I get out of the boss, I gotta go through the freaking Basilisk. Look, I've never parried you before, just let me do it, please. Jed? Please, I just, I, I just want to know what it feels like. I just want to see the animation. Are you kidding me? Like, th these are good parries. He's not parryable. That was not a good parry. Where are you going, dude? I mean, I don't think he could, I don't think he could be parried. Great club! That's a pretty good item, I think. Lord Vessel. Great scythe. Yo, this is the great uh, basement right here. Leggings of favor. <laughs> Alluring skull. And a titanite chunk. It's not so bad. We're just gonna chill in the basement here for a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna just use the bathroom and I'll be back. I'm not even gonna run advertisements. I'm just gonna chill out here. I'll see you in just a minute. Chib, Justin, Apollo, if you could keep chat entertained, please, please. Ooh. What the heck happened to my... It's using keyboard controls. Can you imagine playing this game on a keyboard? <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh. I'm trapped. I'm trapped forever. I am trapped here forever. I'm free. Saw the Papa video, heavily disappointed. Me too. I thought that people in my audience had taste. First, we were talking about Yorgos Lanthimos films, and everybody was on the same page. Then we started talking about, uh, ooh, and everyone's like, no, I'm too serious for that. Okay, I get it. You're cool or whatever. Blast. Good. Farmable red titanite. Oh, cool. A basilisk. My favorite. Nope. Guardian Helm. The Phalanx! You hear that? <laughs> Hello. Have you watched the Darjeeling Limited? I, I, I watched that. I, Wes Anderson. Loved Wes Anderson. Watched uh, So Excited. 
This is the same theater I saw Synecdoche, New York. Um, I was like, new Wes Anderson movie, Darjeeling Limited, Poggy. Went and I saw it with my friend. Worst, worst movie he's ever made. I saw a lot of bad movies in that theater, now that I think about it. <laughs> Even They should be good movies, but, you know, they just didn't turn out. I'm trying to think. I saw the Elijah Wood movie, Everything is Illuminated, in that theater. That movie's, like, it's pretty okay. Um, I saw An Inconvenient Truth in that theater. I mean, that, that movie is also, like, fine. But you kind of had to be there, you know? Like, if, if you weren't of the age in 2006 to watch An Inconvenient Truth, then, like, you know... If you go back and watch it now, it probably seems almost like a tale of, like, hopefulness. Um... I'm trying to think of what else I saw in that theater. There's another Silver Knight in there. Um, Demon's Great Axe is pretty sick, no joking. I saw Moon in that theater. Moon, that's a good movie. I saw, um, you know the guy from Bandersnatch and Midsummer. I saw um, a movie where he was a child actor in that theater. The movie was called Son of Rambo. Which was okay. I saw the Mike Nichols film, Happy Go Lucky. And I was like, I, I, don't, I don't know if I really get this. I don't know if this is made for me. I'm trying to think of what else I saw there. What else did I, Hello? You can't fit in here. Are you... What the? <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a scary room, man. Luckily, these guys have low HP, but you gotta be able to hit them first. Rat jam. These guys are scary, dude. You know what I saw? One of the best movies I saw at that theater? Man on Wire. That's a great movie. He can't fit. I've seen other movies there, but I can't I can't remember what they were. That's it. I'm I'm next question. <laughs> oh you know what? No, I saw Be Kind Rewind there. There were a lot of movies from like my time in university. Um that like I expected to be good, but were actually garbage. Like it's such a like, how, how, how did Be Kind Rewind end up being bad? Like, it, it should have been so easy. Most deaf Jack Black. Repair box, huh? No, I didn't see Garden State there. To see Garden State, um, I, I waited for the DVD. I rented it from Jumbo Video and watched it with my parents. And they were like, I don't really get it. And I was like, this is the freaking best movie ever made. Um, at the time. Then I watched it again. I think, like, I mean, I probably watched it, like, you know, ten times. Watching Garden State as, like, an adult instead of an aspiring adult, you kind of realize, like, this thing is just unbelievably, like, it's, it's just way too sentimental. Like, it's so sentimental that there's no real emotion. Like, it's, it's so dramatic. I, I was in love with that movie, sincerely, as a child, but it's like, it's so, like, it's so twee, and, like, it's just a little much, but at the, at the time, plus, it was, like, you know, there was, like, a weird rise of, like, indie rock music into the mainstream zeitgeist, you know, it was, like, uh, Garden State soundtrack, and then, um, Seven Humanity, that's pretty sick, you know, the, the, Modest Mouse got uh, famous because Float On became, like, one of the biggest songs of that summer. And, you know, indie music kind of became, uh, you know, a little bit more popular for sure. Hey, Ruka. Hey, Ruka. Come on in. Everything, like, here's how much I love Garden State, right? And I, I love that we are not, um, 
running into some difficulties now, so we can actually get some banter going. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. You know what? Kindle bonfire before boss. Great idea. Um, I love the uh, sack. Uh, I love sack. I don't know where I got that from. Uh, I loved Garden State so much that I saw the Zach Braff's follow-up follow movie that I can't even remember the name of anymore. Maybe it's called The Last Kiss. It stars Zach Braff and Rachel Bilson, who uh, played Summer on the OC. Not a good... Terrible movie. And... Not only did I see it in theaters, when I saw it in theaters, a a man uh, was was watching the film alone, and he clearly was just like, you know, not in control of his own faculties. So he came in, I've told this before, but he came into the movie theater with like an enormous bag of McDonald's, and just stunk up the theater with the telltale smell of uh, McDonald's french fries, and then was just like shouting and grunting throughout the whole movie. And you're like, it's just kind of a weird experience because you're like, you know, I don't want to, like, what are you going to do, right? I think if I told him to stop, I don't think he would have stopped. He was not going, ooh. ooh. And you don't want to like, I don't know, you go talk to the usher. And be like, hey, here's the usher is like, you know, a year younger than me. And uh, you're gonna go to him and be like, hey, can you take care of this? I get it, it, it is their job, but still. Ooh. ooh. Sorry, sorry. Might have had a history with one of the actors. I don't think this guy has, he's not allowed to come within 200 meters of Rachel Bilson. You're, he's a real... He's himself. Okay, hold on. What do you got? Lord Vessel? Maybe you have the Lord Vessel for sale. You ever think about that? Rotten... Soul of a Great Hero for 5,000. That's that's heavy stonks. Everything else... Not that impressed. Who the heck is Night King Rendell? Titan Knight Shards for 100. Insanely good deal. Um, but we already have a bunch. Twinkling for 5000 A little expensive, but it's nice to not have to always go back, I suppose. Okay. Get smacked. Oh, there's an item behind him, too. Yo, I'm calling it the item behind him. 100% chance it's the Lord Vessel. Get ready. What the? Dude, this place is freaking crawling with silver knights. Oh, that's that's not a silver knight move. Oh. You're not an intellectual. Yeah, one day these predictions are going to be right. And you only need to be right once for a clip farm. Like Cannery Row, for example. Soul of a brave warrior. How about that? No, I haven't really seen, like... Since 2016, in the, in the five-year period since 2016... I bet I have seen less than 30 contemporary films, and you're going to be mad because, like, legitimately... 12 of them are Marvel. No doubt about it. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, you can, you can just walk over it? Curse Bite Ring. That's not so, but Curse Bite Ring actually... I, I might just put that on. Just to... Just to stay safe. Yeah, it's like one of those things, you know? Like, I... I there have been times in my life where I would... 
say that I tried to cultivate good taste in film. And then, you know, now that I'm, you know, where I am in my life, uh, I'm just kind of like, I, I have that tolerance for good movies, don't get me wrong. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes you just want to eat like 10 chicken McNuggets. And, and that's the way I kind of look at the Marvel stuff. All those, yeah, dude, all those movies will make me cry. No, no doubt about it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, am I insane? I thought there was an item out here. That's stupid. <laughs> That's the lore vessel, man. You can go behind that? Really? No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. How many of the of the 30 films would be anime? One of the 30 films would be anime. It would be uh, Kimi no Nawa. Also, you know, you might know it by its other name, uh, your name. But dude, apparently, so like nobody, Armor Smith box, so good. Let me out, please. Let me out of here. Funny joke. Your game's ruined. Funny joke. Funny. Never mind. We're safe. Um. Help! Help me! You know you're gonna anger the blacksmith, dude. He's a good guy. All right. I forgot what I was gonna say. Nobody wants the the remake, the live action remake of your name, um, but it is being directed by the guy who directed Minari. So there's a there's some positivity there. If they're going to make it anyway, at least they're making it with a uh with someone with a pedigree. It's not just Guy Ritchie. Get out of there. Get out of there. Solar. I, I do not summon Solaire because I consider it uh, slightly resinous. Butcher? We don't sweat Butcher at all, dude. At all, at all. Look, he's so slow. <laughs> Isn't your name the movie with Timothy Chalamet? Timothy Calamite? No, that's you're thinking of uh, The Call starring Shannon Sossamon. Better Call Saul by your name. Hello, hello, Ryan. <laughs> Don't even start with me. Your name, much better movie than I'm thinking of ending things. Like, I get it, Charlie Kaufman, you're weird, okay? Like, it's fine. And you, you're like, you're, you're, the theme of your life is like unrequited love or whatever, but like, can you just like be normal for a movie or something? Could you like, could you just make like an Iron Man movie or something? Um, Okay, so what do we have here? That kind of looks like Artorius to me. No, it's Nito? It's a skull? It's it's two Nitos. It's Nito Nito. Um. Man. I'm seeing double. <laughs> Four Nitos. Hi, my name's Nito! Okay, so I'm thinking that, honestly, you guys might accidentally kill each other with your miasma of death and disease. And then, depending on which Nito you kill, there could be two... Kill first, I should say. There could be two different... Next bosses. That's funny. Well, they, they are hurting each other. I, I'm going to be honest. For a bit, I thought this might be impossible. Now I'm like, I think it's going to be actually insanely easy.
Like, Nido is really only hard because of the skeletons. And then we gotta see, because... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna die. What the heck is he doing? Actually, we might not die. Like, um... If we could just bait the AoE and, like, just stay alive with our twin humanities... Just bait the AoE as much as possible. That's true. I guess alternatively... Like, we're not taking that much damage from Toxic, man. Alternatively, we could just... Be good. Be good, be good. And, uh, just kill this guy really quick. Let's just do it and be Legends. What the heck are you doing, man? You're freaking weird. Is this allowed? Hit him with the binos real quick. Yeah, luckily, the, when, when he stabs the ground and a bunch of spears come out, uh, it doesn't work. So that's, that's a great stroke of luck for us. Yes, damage your friend, please. Oh, okay. This is a good uh, Twin Humanity section. Glug Glug on the Twin Humanities. Run. Well, I think we're definitely going to see... One of the, the super bosses. Come on, man. I'm just trying to farm. Hey, man, I just want some muesli. Saved? Easily, I might add. It would be great if it's Pinwheel. And then what if we got the Lord Vessel from Guinevere and I was actually just wrong? And the Lord Vessel is not randomized? Or what if I got the Lord Vessel from Guinevere, but I was right and it was randomized? Man, Nito is... Looks cool, is bad. Come on, dude, I just need to hit you one time. There you go, he's, he's gone. He won't trouble us anymore. Excuse me, I have Toxic on, I have Toxic on. I need, I need to come back from this. That's Nito. Electric Nito. Oh, it's Ornstein, dude! Lore fight! This is actually incredible lore. You had to fight him to get in, and now you gotta fight him to get out. <laughs> we can do this. It's gonna be annoying, but we can definitely do it. Now kill the other one? We might as well try. Super Ornstein is not a good role. It's one of the hardest bosses in the game. Whatever, I have Curse Bite Ring. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, I've got Curse Bite Ring. If the other one's Manus? Yeah, yeah, I'd rather fight Super Ornstein than Manus, for sure. Yup. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, I just wiped out Tomato Town. Nice try. Has NL run out of Kitchen Nightmares YouTube videos yet? Um, I just keep watching the same ones over and over. Like, I'm telling you, who, whoever does the YouTube channel is actually 
the strongest, like, clickbait farmer in, in YouTube history. Okay, I'm dead. I didn't even know you could do that. The, um... The newest video on Gordon Ramsay's YouTube channel is called something like, You're Gonna Kill Somebody, You Panini Head. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna click on that. I clicked on it, and it's like... It's this, this a little clip from the, one of the, you know, 20 episodes of Kitchen Nightmares that just keeps, uh, you know, getting re-uploaded. Deadass, watch the whole thing. Watch the entire thing, front to back. He, they got me with the title, and then I was like, ah, it'd take a lot of effort to turn it off. Yo, J, J. Clark, if you mash buttons, the grab does literally zero damage. I trust it, that's that's a name deeply associated with Dark Souls mechanics in my brain. Parking Wars is a great YouTube clip farm as well. Dude, I'll check that out. Oh, and bow to your sensei. Um, I, I watched a lot of Parking Wars, you know, in the first few weeks after our daughter was born because she was waking me up, you know, around the time that that show's on the air, which is like 5... 10 a.m. local time on TLC or A&E. Um, so I think I got it's you. Parking Wars is a great show. Wow, you're getting cut up. Your, your own boy's cutting you up. How do you feel about that? That's gotta hurt. I am a little mad, actually. So we're just going to run away for a second. Um, I'm going to take off the Curse Bite ring. No, I, I do not have an anti-toxic ring. So if you don't mind, why don't you just... Just put that back on there. Which Nito are you? You're the one we don't want to hit. Yeah, I don't think we have the right uh, moss. I think we got some purple, but we got no blooming, no blooming onions. Run? No, the scream does not mean that the AOE's coming. I forgot. That's what means the AOE's coming. It would be hilarious if the other boss was super slow. You couldn't be mad about that. Oh, dude, like, don't even get me started on Kitchen Nightmares. I could talk about that show like. I think it might be the best show in TV history. The, the best non-fiction show in TV history. Don't get me wrong. Jeopardy's kind of sick as well. Kitchen Nightmares is in like a whole class of its own though. Oh God. <laughs> British or US? Um, I would say either, um, but definitely I, I do prefer the British version. I think of all the like British to American conversions, Kitchen Nightmares is, it's, it's got something to like in, in both of them. I've said it before, but like British Kitchen Nightmares, it has like, um, what the heck? British Kitchen Nightmares has, like, you know, it's got the business aspect. People are, like, you know, embellishing, but they're not embellishing nearly as much as they do in the American version, obviously. And then the American version, you just, you know, genuinely meet some of the most insane business owners in the history of commerce. Go ahead, do AOE, see if I care. Yeah, I can't believe, man, US Peep Show. I can't remember if I ever watched it. Doesn't it have like a... It has like a well-known actor playing Mark, right? I think they, they tried to Americanize Peep Show, but I think it's kind of a... What? 
Hold on. Did you just- did you kill the one that's gonna become super- No, it's super SMO, dude! That's so sick! That's not even super SMO, that's just regular SMO. Dude, this is the best lore fight I've ever seen in a randomizer. In order to get into the castle, you have to fight Super Smo and then Super Ornstein. And then once you get in, you fight two Nidos, and then you either fight Super Ornstein or regular Smo. Like, what are the odds of that? Faked, faked metadata, one, one in 11 trillion chance. Don't care, didn't ask, plus your Smo. You don't even have lightning. All right, that's no problem. <laughs> Anklet of the Great Lord. I literally looked at that and I, in my head, it, it looks like mom's knife to me for some reason. I don't, when, I, when I just look at it in my peripheral vision, I'm like, I just got mom's knife. I don't know what, what that says about my brain, but... We always take the big elevator. I can kind of see it. Yeah, I don't know, dude, something it just looks like mom's knife, man. Is it actually Guinevere? We won't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that uh, carrot on a stick in front of you. It also does look like grandma, the frickin' thing. Did I go the wrong way? No, there's a chest down there. Nope, that's just a brick. That's a brick. I would love it if that was a gargoyle in there, man. Now, give me some decks. I think we only need 15, so let's also take a level of vitality. I mean, this was a pretty tough, but also very fun. Um, oh, you need 18. Son of a... Yo, where's the chest, man? There's a chest up here. Am I crazy? There's a chest up here. What? I never knew there was a sky bridge over here. Is there not a chest up here? Only if you kill Lautrec. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. I asked and then I didn't look at the answer. I thought we did really well on... That's Guinevere, dude. I thought we did really well on Anne Orlando. That was not easy, and yet we've, we've persevered. Welcome. Come hither. Don't mind if I do. Neil? Look, I'm not going to deprive you. I know why you're here. Oh! What? It's happened? I'm gonna be straight up with you. The fact that she also gave us the cleric's leggings, you're gonna laugh? I think it was randomized. I know the odds of that are unbelievable. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm going into my Dark Souls save file, okay? And I am opening the cheat sheet because we just got the item that means that we don't... Uh, it doesn't matter if we look at the cheat sheet anymore. This PC, my E drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common. It's just loading. It's just loading. NBA 2K... No, this is on my solid state drive. C, program files, x86, Steam... Steam Apps, Common, Dark Souls Remastered, Item, Randomizer, Data. Ha Random Seed, okay, I got, hint, Cheat Sheet, Seed Info, I'm, I'm booting it up, Seed Info, open with Notepad. Key Difficulty Shuffled, that's, it says Key Difficulty Shuffled. Senile Guinevere. Off. What the heck does that mean? That might be what it is. It's Senile Guinevere. Oh, son of a... That's the Lord Vessel one? So the Lord, the Lord Vessel was not shuffled. Okay, well, you know what? 
my mistake. Um, still, that would have been sick, though, right? <laughs> reset, reset, reset. You know what this means, though? Do you know what this means? This means we can freaking fast travel. Oh, you have to kill her to fight Gwendolyn. That's right. Just, yeah, well, Mons, can we cut that part out, please? Do I even have any arrows, man? I know I have a bow. Do I even have any arrows? Standard bolt. Do I have a... I have no... Okay, hold on. There's got to be a way. Fire bombs, maybe? Are you kidding me? We actually have nothing we can use to kill this... You know what? You live for now. <laughs> that was bolt equip. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Wrong. Wait, right. Yes, okay, you were right. Feather, arrow, short bow. Okay, here we go. Saved, saved. Suck brick, kid. Oh, don't I have to fight these three losers now? Not yet. Dude, I don't know anything about this game. That is funny, though. I, I genuinely... I mean, I, I... You know. You know me. I wouldn't have kept up the kayfabe for that long. If I actually had deliberately not randomize the Lord Vessel. I for real thought that it was that it was on. Fast travel to the tomb bonfire? Uh, I can't because I haven't been down there yet. But one day, one day, perhaps I will. I watched 10 seconds of US Peep Show and now I have the flu. It's like the thing I don't get about like... I don't know, maybe maybe they were right all along, the American network executives. But like It's just one of those things is like it, I I get remaking a show that's not in English for the American audience. That's okay. And and by I mean I I would rather just watch the original show if it's good to begin with, but I at least kind of understand it. But Remaking a, a, a British show in America just makes no sense to me. They're, they're speaking English. Help. Help me. Peep show is actually... I didn't think he had the range. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think he had the range. These are the hardest bosses in the whole freaking game right here. Um, British Peep Show, I mean, as if it needs to be delineated. British Peep Show, one of my favorite shows ever. You got me, congrats. Wonderful comedy. There was some greed, there was a little greed. That's the thing, people are always like, I can't watch, mm, I can't even watch, uh, Scott's Tots. Ooh, don't even mention the word Scott's Tots to me, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. Scott's Tots is, is nothing. Scott's Tots is like, it's a walk in the freaking park compared to some of the stuff on Peep Show. People are dying. They're betraying each other. Dinner party is awkward, but it is funny. Hey, Mr. Scott, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make my dream come true. No, we're gonna end the stream at the uh, at the normal time. 
for sure, which is like, um, no. Goodbye. But let me, um, let me at least try to fight Gwendolyn first, because I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be a gargoyle. To go low, you push it this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm going up. I know, I know I'm going up. <sighs> you knew it was coming. 15k to 8k in two seconds? Dude, wait till you find out about the subscriber badges. But yeah, keep uh, keep following. Follow me on Twitch. I am. This is uh, this is pretty standard, you know. It was it wasn't uh, a ten out of ten stream. It wasn't a five out of ten stream. I tend to stay in that seven and a half to eight range. Is uh, is typically where I like to be. I don't like when the streams get too good. It sets its expectations, and then you know, for years afterwards, you're forced to answer questions. People are like, I haven't watched any of his content, but can somebody please tell me what happened to Fallout New Vegas? Hold on, isn't there an item in here? So, uh, you know, if you like consistent streams, um, click that follow button. Please, please don't be super Ornstein. Hello, it's me. Heretic. First thou offended the Godmother. Can you just show up on screen so I can laugh at the fact that your textures are all messed up? The heck are you talking about? I'm just trying to get to science class. Oh my god. <laughs> it's freaking Ornstein, man. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's it's super Ornstein too, that's so good. We're doing oh no, you probably just have less HP because Gwendolyn has less HP to begin with. First try, incoming. Well, I gotta say, you haven't experienced um, an Orlando until every enemy has been Ornstein. You're not wrong. The lore implications. This, this is actually like, it's a big milestone. I thought for sure I was getting got for me because again like I don't think I'd ever really killed Super Ornstein prior to you know basically an hour ago that was a great shot put a quick little sip quick sip will do ya you knew that was coming 100% chance. Super Ornstein easier than Smo. Uh, agree to disagree. But to be honest with you, in this in this specific hallway, I may be persuaded to agree with you. Just because Smo's lightning would be... Uh, that'd be a real tough one. Quick, quick sip. Just a sip of the potion and I'm on a ride. You're toxic. I'm sipping potion. Quick sip. You let me get the double. Wow, you're you're gonna regret that. No, no three piece. No three piece. Bro. No fear. No fear. Sip. I went for the Dublé. Michael Dublé. Quick sip. No fear. Stay in there. This is going fine. Just back it up until you get your twin humanities. This thing's got some freaking range on it, too. Unlike that stinky blacksmith hammer. Oh, he's done. He's done. <laughs> oh, 
Sweet. Oh, we, we have done some tough boss fights today. We have done some tough boss fights today. Yeah, whatever. Red slab. That's pretty good. Red slab. Red slab. Red slab. Red slab. The Shining. There's items in here. I always forget where they are because it's it's dark. Large soul of a proud knight, much better than a small soul of a proud knight. Soul of the moonlight butterfly, huh? All right, this is this is all we got, right? That's it. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Large magic ember. Mmm. How about that? Mission accomplished. Two Super Ornsteins, a Super Smo, Double Nido, and Regular Smo. You know, for, for an hour and a half, two hours? That's pretty good, uh, that's pretty good gaming. I still don't necessarily think we're over the hump. Like, uh... But, but maybe that's just because we haven't really had, like, a super difficult boss yet. Like, the hardest boss we fought so far is Super Ornstein on the bridge, for sure. But we'll... I mean, people are like, you are. You don't know that. You know, we could have, like, nine Manuses left of the game. We could have, we could have you know, every boss for the rest of the game could be uh, our Tories. Four Kings is still a pain in the butt, too. Although a lot of bosses, I think, just die in the Abyss. Four Kings can be a real pain in the butt. Anyway... Could be four manises. I forget. I think bed of chaos is just the normal bed of chaos. Um, good stream. I had a, a good stream today, uh, and I hope you did as well.